Amen. Wale na tutanzama kwa runinga hapa ni Shilo Worship Ministry Nairobi. Tuko opposite private primary school. Ah uh, unaweza tupata kwa Google. Ibada zetu zinaanza saa tatu kwa nusu. Na zinaisha saa saba na nusu. Karibu sana kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Ah uh, bwana sifiwe sana. Ningependa leo nikafundishe maisha ya mokovu. Amen. Ama maisha ya mtu wa imani na maisha ya mtu wa imani ana matarajio magani <coughs> bwana sifiwe uh, kwa sababu nimeangalia nikaona ya kwamba tumeweka imani tu kama kwa njia moja kwamba imani tu ni kitu ya kumwamini Mungu kwa maisha tupokee miujiza tupone magonjwa na hatujachukua kama imani pia ndio chanzo ama ndio icon ya our beliefs praise the name of the living god What makes you a born again what makes you a believer is because you have faith. Amen. We are the people of faith. Sisi ni watu wa imani ya Kristo Yesu. Bwana siwe sana. Tumeokoka kwa imani kupitia neema ya Yesu Kristo. Na hii kwa imani is hii maisha ya believer ni matarajio gani ambayo yanatarajiwa kwetu kama believer? Ni maisha magani ambayo tunafaa kuishi kama believer? Bwana sifiwe. Ili neno Bwana alileta katika nafsi yangu wiki jana na alinipeleka sana kitabu cha James. Aliyekuwa ananiongelesha alinipeleka kitabu cha James. Alinipeleka sisi kama kuna kwanga na chapter 15 yake. Yaani nilitafuta chapter 15 lakini mahali kwa kulikuwa na chapter 15 ya the book of James. So nisoma mpaka chapter 15. Na ina isianga 5. Kwa hivyo kuna chapter kumi ambazo mimi nisomeshe. Bwana sifiwe sana. <coughs> maisha ya mokovu, maisha ya mtu aliyeamini. Actually the correct journey of a believer. Bwana sifiwe sana. Ningependa uelewa kwamba imani tu sio ya kutarajia matokeo ya imani peke yake. Mambo ambayo ni ya kushuhudia na ni mimi na ubiri kushuhuda na ubiri mjiza. Lakini ningependa nikwambie kwamba safari the main journey Haya ni mambo ambayo yameongezewa maana na niko nasema kwamba tutafute ufalme wa Mungu kwanza na hayo mengine yameongezewa sasa nataka niache haya ya kuongezewa tuingie kwa hiyo ufalme kwa hiyo safari ya imani bwana asiwe sana haleluya safari yako ya imani na hiyo ndio ile imani ambayo itamalizia na kuingia paradiso Yaani mwisho maana kila jambo liko na mwanzo linakuwa anga na mwisho. Mwisho wa imani yako ni ya kwamba upate ku, kuhifadhi uzima wa milele mpaka siku ya mwisho. Yaani upate kuingia paradiso. Bwana sifiwe sana. Amen. Usiwe mtu ambaye alipoteza wokofu, uwe mtu ambaye amemaliza wokofu. Na James anaangazia the life of a believer na anaangazia imani ambayo ile matokeo inafaa kupatikana kwa mtu ambaye ameshaamini na njia ambayo mtu aliamini atakayoipita bwana sifiwe sana na anaanzia na kusema in the book of James chapter 1 from verse number 2 anasema kwamba uhesabu furaha wakati unapopitia majaribu you change that translation it is wrong the translation is wrong the bible is not wrong but the translation is not right Uh, because the bible should say that brethren count it all joy when you go through various trials or bwana sifiwe sana or test kuna temptations but i want you to capture trials because there's a lot of different of trials and temptations and many times people what they always could separate trials and temptations you know say i like that one. i like that one in the na ongeza anasema all various temptations James ana capture mambo ya temptation akimalizia chapter 1 lakini anaanzia kwamba count it all joy i think i need to write to read my 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 physical bible i need to read this one what is this one but thank god we still have the screen we we'll still read it but i want to read my own king james here can you look for that king james that say thou thee thou can you get us that king james <coughs> My brothers come into joy when you fall into various trials. Yaani uhesabu furaha wakati unapopitia changamoto ama mambo mengi. Kwa sababu tukitumia the word temptations, 
temptation in tutaona kule mbele temptation ni part B ya hii na temptation inakuanga matokeo ya desire za mtu na cravings na yielding but kuna trials kuna mambo mangumu ambayo watu wanapitia na maandiko nasema ya kwamba hii verse 3 nasema kwamba is a testing of your faith not tempting ni kujaribiwa kwa imani yako na ile mfano mzuri ningependa kukutumia nikupe kwa mfano ni ya kwamba simu yako baada ya kutengenezwa ilipitishwa katika testing kila gadget kabla ileto kwa soko inapitishwa katika testing inakuwa tested hii microphone sio mimi niliongea nayo wa kwanza iliongea huko kule walitengenezea wali test wakasikia kama inaongea vizuri hata magari yanakuwa tested hakuna mtu ananesaga gari kona zero mileage hata simu yako sio wewe ulipiga simu ya kwanza walishapiga simu na waliandika message na walichukua video ndio waone kama hizo vitu zinafanya kazi ndio wale mnaingia kukingia kwa biashara utapata kuna products na itangwa republished mmekutana hiyo neno republished republished ni ya kwamba ni zile vitu zilitengenezwa na zilipojaribiwa zikapatikana ziko na dosari ziko na problem zikarudishwa kwa kampuni zikamaliziwa kwa sababu wakati zilipokuja kwa testing they never qualified are you with me and i want you to have this in your mind and if you are writing you can write god will host always test before he trust god will always test you before he trust you you will have to go through testing before you are trusted kila mtu ambaye unaona mungu amemwaminia mambo makubwa alipitia kujaribiwa number 2 only tested can be trusted only the tested can be trusted the trusted can be given responsibilities and accountability wale ambao wamejaribiwa na wakapatikana wamepita hao ndio peke yao wanapewa majukumu ile simu ambayo imejaribiwa ndio inapelekwa soko hata magari yanajaribiwa wanatengeneza magari na wanayagongesha wanayafanyisha accident intentionally na wanaweka mtu dame hapo ndani na anafungwa mshipi wanaangalia the weight the impact of the accident wanaangalia kama hiyo gari yao mtu akifanya accident nayo atakuwa safe chances ya kukufa chances ya kupita wakiona ijakuwa mzuri mtu atakufa kwa accident kidogo hiyo gari wanarudia wana correct errors bado online angalia vile magari yanatestiwa Then you will see them crashing complete gari msima Mercedes Benz bay park ya 45 million wanapigisha ukuta wanaenda gharama ile product ambayo inafaa kulipwa 45 million wanaigongesha kwa ukuta wanaangalia how 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 was the accident before we take this thing out there kwa nini wanafanya hivyo ndio ikikuja hapa nje isiwe watu kwa hivyo hata Mungu ako careful Tumi sana tumwambie Mungu ako careful. Haleluya. Watu imani yote, mambo yote Mungu anafanya, anapitisha watu katika testing. Your faith will always be tested. Imani yako itajaribiwa and we should rejoice for it is a sign of a new view of life. There is a new level in the view. Ukiona unapitia majaribu. Bwana sifiwe. Unajua kuna watu wanapitia trials na wamelia sana. Nishaiwaambia siku moja nilikuwa naongea na dada mmoja. Na akanieleza mambo anayoyapitia. Na kweli alikuwa mambo mazito. Lakini ndani yangu nikamwambia hivi, kama Joanna angetupa the island of Patmos, nani angetuandikia kitabu ya Revelation? And that I told him go write us a book of Revelation. Na nikamaliza canceling. Bwana sifiwe sana. Praise the name of the living God. I felt even if nikimwombea hata toka kwa hii. Kwa sababu akitoka kwayo mbila kuitimu. Number one, Mungu ataachilia mambo mengi yaachiliwa kwa watu ni kwa sababu hajaitimu. Uliza mtu habari yako? 
mtaye five muulize umeitimu haleluya unajua watu wengi vitu nyingi wanaomba wajaitimu hebu tupatie verse 3 because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance another word is patience yani kujaribiwa kwa imani yako kunaleta subira Kwa hivyo Mungu kuna vitu ambavyo anataka zizaliwe ndani yako na moja wake ni kusubiri. Na anafanya aje anatengeneza subira ndani yako aje anakuingiza katika trial. Praise the name of the living God. Be sure that the testing of your faith through experience process produces endurance leading to spiritual maturity. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you seeing now where you mature in God? Unaweza mtumulizo umekoma ama bado ni mtoto wa kiroho? Verse verse 4. But let your patience have its own perfect work. Ama in other words, the testing of your patience produces what? Let your perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete nothing lacking nothing. Wakati mtu anapofika sehemu ya subira Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Kuna mambo mengi unayatarajia katika maisha yako. Na Mungu anasema sasa kwa sababu ya mambo unayataka, haya ndio nitatumia kukufundisha. Unataka sana kuolewa. Nataka ni kuumbe mtu ambaye ataweza kukaa kwa ndoa. Unajua kwa nini watu wanaolewa leo na kesho wao wakakaa kwa hiyo ndoa? Waliingia kwa ndoa kama wako qualified. Kuingia kwa ndoa. Wameingia kwa ndoa kama wako qualified. Kuingia kwa ndoa. So what will happen? They will have a terrible accident and it will kill their marriage. Kila kila marriage na kuanga na anjali za barabara ni barabara ya ndoa sio barabara zisa za matengenezo wana sifa sana leo muse amekuja aeleweki kesho mama ako na attitude na temba kesho kutwa watoto wanalia kiolela holela na wewe muse unataka kutulia wanalia na ala unataka nyumba yote ikiwezekana kila kitu isimwe lakini haka moja kameka dia zote nga 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 sasa kama uja mungu haku kupitisha kwa kumbojea niyo wengine unaomba na hakuna mtu wanakuja hata hakuna kamutu mwaka na kuuliza na kwa hiyo mungu analia imani yako kwa hiyo mungu ananza kukufundisha mambo kwa sababu number one when god has not answered most of the time you always go to him and ask god what is happening and then during that to show you a lot of things. When you don't attack a hella, what a sufficient. Hallelujah. One attack a pesa, one of my beer, Mugu, attack a pesa. Then Muga Mogambia to Nangoja and Baka Ukomai. Sab to the Gupa Pesa Leo, Utakuana Big Wen. I won't guess a girlfriend tat. Mana, Una, Una, no, 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 Kwa sababu ndani yako kuna wrong appetite, kuna strange desires. Mungu anakuambia kwamba kabla nikupe pesa, maliza hizi desires. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu tukukupa pesa sasa hizi, hai, hata katika uokovu taaje. Ni watu wangapi Mungu amefungulia financial doors? Watu wangapi wamepata pesa wakaacha uokovu? Wengi sana. Ah watu unaona kwa baa, walianzia kwa kanisa. Walianzia kwa kanisa. Ah watu wengi unaona kwa baa. Walianzia kwa kanisa. Bwana sifiwe sana. Hallelujah. Na ndio unaona wao ni 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 ni, 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 ni accidents. Kwa sababu they never waited for patience to grow in their life to be complete. Wao watu complete. Mtu complete anafanana aje ni mtu ako na mambo atakuonyesha hapa sasa hizi. Mtu complete atakuonyesha mtu bila anakuwa complete. Anakuwa mtu ukikosea kasiriki. <coughs> Mtu ambaye aongee ovyo ovyo. Mtu ambaye ana imani, mtu ambaye ana madharao, mtu ambaye amenye huyo ni mtu complete. Maandiko yanasema lacking nothing. Ule mtu ambaye ayuko in want, maandiko yanasema kwamba Zaburi 
The Lord is my shepherd, I shall I lack nothing. So that it can produce, number one, it produces patience. Number two, it produces good works. The purpose is to produce things. Kuna bitu mungu anataka kuona kwako. Na moja wake ni subira. Ya pili ni ya kwamba uwe mtu mwenye karata. I like a person ambayo inasame ya kwamba you become of karata. Watu wakikuangaleo nasema ya ni mtu wa imani. Ujaongea. Mambo imetendeka, ikatendeka. Wakangalia vile umerespond. Wakasema mtu ambayo inasa respond hivi. Ni mtu ambayo ni mtu wa imani. Watu wakawele nasema waka respond hivi. Kwa sababu kilo umeangalia ni works. Kwa sababu hile works na niyake kuna karata. Aleluya. And mtu wakiwa wa karata, vitu vyota ahali za mungu zinapeanwa kwake. Mtu wakiku, akingi ya to a level of a man of character. Tingisa mazako mwambie ile siku utakuwa a man and a woman of character. Hakuna kitu utakosa. Maana umekua completely under the shepherdhood of God. Na kama kuna kitu wauna uitaji. Let me tell you, it's not mandatory you have everything. There are things goes according to the, the prescription of God upon your life. You don't need them. And God will not bring them. And you will not have a problem if you don't have them. Even if people will hack you, you should have them. Unajua, kwa nini watu wana hack you, wana, wana, watu wengi wako under pressure. Ni kwa sababu they are following the the peer pressure ya watu na matarajio wanataka kutimiza the expectations of people they are not looking to fulfill the agenda of God lakini wakati ya mba umekoma unaingia katika you are not bothered una gari lakini ya una shida sisebu usikuwa na gari you are okay you know why you don't have a car you know it's not that you cannot have one praise the name of the living God you know why you have not built a house? The last time I checked, Apostle William Kimani does not have a house. His own. Ana ploti yake na ajajenga nyumba yake. Ili hali ya mejengea mungu ngorofatano kwa prayer center. Amejengea nilikuwa maombi juusi. Paka nikauliza mungu. Mungu tusambe. Sisi. Sisi. Mimi kwanza. Mimi ni mfalafi. Mana kama zambda siu lafi ukekua meniaminia. Sasa, hii hapa ni prayer center. Sio kanisani. Hiyo ni hall ya prayer center. Imejengwa kwa 80 by 100 something. Complete. Complete. Na nikaangalia wala tuwa nasaidika na hiyo facility. Uyu mtu ajajenga nyumba yaki. Uli amejenga hiyo nyumba. Ajajenga nyumba yaki. Nikienda na guru, hako na kanisa. Na fikiri yo kanisa ime cost like 150 to 200 million. Na ana nyumba yake. Watu wakikaa wanaongea vilu wamejanga magurofa. Yeye, he is not lacking a house. Wewe ndiyo nono mela. Watu ndiyo anasafikiri ya melake house. Lakini ya jalake house. Tukiingia kwa watu walu wamejanga ya na kodi. Analipa rent. Lakini kwa sababu yeye amefika to a place of character. Yeye ni complete. Are you with me? Wana iso pe sifa sana. So you need, when you become a man of faith, you come out of the multitude. You begin to live a life of God. Unaishi maisha ya mungu. You live a life of God. Niliangalia poso Pamela ananesha KAQ. Na kila mwezi ya napeana have a million. Kwa ministry. Kila mwezi ya napeana almost have a million. Kwa sababu me I know a lot of employees wa JTV ni ya nalipa. Bili nyingi ni ya nalipa na pesa yake. Na ananesha KAQ. Ni kwa sababu wa mekoma. He has come to complete. Sile vitu wa ubiri tunatafuta. Nataka niwe na Karen Trover. Nataka niwe na KV8. Nataka niwe na Kachesi hapa mbele. Na watu wengine hapa nyuma. Na nikitaka kushuka watu wa nakimbia mbio wa nalifungulia mlango. It's because most of people, the reason why they have to those things, is because they are not complete. They are still have immaturity inside their mind. 
Wow. You know, there is a lot of Nihama in ministry. There is a lot of glory I don't have a problem with it. But let me tell you, this I know. The greatest people in God they are the most humble people. Wala watu wa kubwa ndani ya Mungu ndio wale wanyenyekevu zaidi. Wale watu wa kubwa ndani ya Mungu. Wewe angalia kama hapa hapa Kenya watu wengi wana kiburi sana kwa makanisa. Mtu akishakuwa na pesa tu hakuna kitu anafanyanga kwa kanisa ni kukuja na kuketi chini. Na hito sasa sasa sasa. Hawezi akakuwa hasha, hawezi akafagia kanisa, hakuna kitu anaweza fanya. Maana anatuanga sandaka na tight imeisha. Bana sifio sana. Sijui ilikuwa nasikiza nani, I think ilikuwa nasikiza 